Good day, everyone. Today's video is a follow up from class, primarily on how to use Social Explorer to download some social data and then map it at the state level and county level in Excel. With that, through U of A, we have access to the subscription without having to pay for it. So if you're on a campus computer, you should be able to log in through the institution, search U of A, or create an account and just tie it to your U of A email address and you can log in as well. Either one works, you're good to go. With that, following up what we did in class and changing a little bit to reflect more of the homework, we want to download state level data and then a smaller, just county level for a specific state for social data. So with that, if we go into our tables tab, these are the different data sets that are available in Social Explorer. If we scroll down, we use the health data and we use the 2020 health data in class to identify different health outcomes at the state level than counties within Arkansas specifically. For our purposes today, let's use the ACS because this is more in line with your homework assignment. With that, let's go into the five-year estimates and hit begin report for our most recent estimates there, so 2021. Here you have to select your spatial unit of analysis. Given the homework assignments and what we did in class, we first want to deal with the state level. So we want data for each specific state. With this, and you can see if we scroll down that Puerto Rico is an option. So you can click all states and it will bring that in. If you want to hesitate or clean it up a bit, if you just select Alabama, scroll down, hit shift or hold down shift and then select Wyoming, hit add. That just removes Puerto Rico. And I do this at this point just for mapping purposes in Excel. If we add Puerto Rico, it zooms out pretty far. You can't see as much description on the 50 US states. Data are available for Puerto Rico, just for our purposes today, we're not going to include that. If we hit proceeds, then we have the option of all the variables that are available through Social Explorer connected or tied to this specific data set at the state level. With that, the homework has you select a specific variable within here and then map that for the purposes of the assignment. I'm going to select a different one just to go through the steps to get it mapped. So if we go in here and what am I on right now? Unemployment rate. Let's so let's just deal with unemployment. Easy one to pull and use. We use it quite a bit in social and crime data analysis. We're gonna hit add. So what this is gonna provide us now when we hit results is at the state level, we're going to have the overall civilian population that's 16 years and older, older, those who are employed. So we have that percentage, also those who are unemployed as a percentage as well. Within Social Explorer, it does give you the option to download straight to Excel. I'm not a huge fan of the formatting it kicks it out in. So typically I still go into the data download and I do the CSV. There's just a couple boxes you need to check to make your life easier and less data claiming. So with that, let's use our first one. We want our column labels. And then we also want the percentage. So this will give us the percent unemployed and employed by state. Once we're good with that, let's go ahead and hit download the CSV. This is ACS state level unemployment. Open this up. And last time I opened Excel, it did take a minute just because of this accessing printer issue. So I will hit pause here and just let my computer load this. All right, that took about a minute to open up for me. With that, when it does open, keep in mind we're still in a CSV. So out of habit, I go in, save as, and change this over to a workbook. Just keep the same name and we'll just have two different files now. One's a CSV and one's an Excel workbook. With that, why I always check that box in Social Explorer to have the labels. You'll see the top row of the labels and the second row here are actually the variable labels that you would get normally, no matter what the data set spits out. To me, it's just a bit more descriptive and an easier to read from an education or learning standpoint of you know what you're looking at because sometimes it's just numbers attached to it and you don't know what measure it is unless you have the code book in front of you. So it saves a bit of time and effort there. With that, I'm going to delete the second row. So I've just selected two, right click, delete. And you'll notice now that we have quite a few columns that just have nothing in it. So I'm gonna highlight from H, come all the way down to where it has the geographic identifier, hit delete. So now we have a subset of data. Still need to clean it up. So I'm just taking out these empty columns. And at the start here, you'll see the FIPS, the federal ID for each state. 
each state, each county, neighborhood, so tract or block group all has a FIPS code attached. At the state level, it's a two digit one. So this is where the issue comes up. I'm just gonna expand this to show it. For Alabama through Connecticut, so our single digit ones, it should have a zero in front of it. So you don't see the zero five for Arkansas, but when you come over here for the geographic identifier, it does have that in. It's good, we need that zero. In the future, we'll have to deal with this and adding a zero back in. But for now, we're good to go. We can still clean this up. We don't need all of this in between for the purposes of today. With that, I'm gonna change the qualifying name up here just to say state. And you'll see once I fit these out, we have a couple different measures that download us. We have the population 16 and over, over the employed, unemployed, and then our percentages here. So this is the one at the end, G, column G is what we want to actually map. So with that, I'm going to highlight column B, scroll back over, oops, hold down control, hit G, come up to insert, and I'm going to insert a map, and this can be done on a PC or Mac. You have the filled map option. Macs can't do the 3D mapping. That's the only part. Hit fill the map. Before I do anything, I'm gonna just right click on the map itself, and I'm going to move this chart to a new sheet and just say state map. So you can see at the bottom, we have a new sheet. I'm just gonna change where it's located. And then we have some good information on it. Now, this is where it takes a bit of time to get used to how the layout is done in Excel, potential design options, formatting options that you wanna get into, and it takes a bit of time, and I always say this, and some people like to poke fun at it, make your map pretty. So at the end of the day, it's a digestible bit of information that you want someone to understand what they're looking at. So just keep that in mind with the color schemes, the title, everything that you're doing, would someone else be able to look at this and understand what you're trying to visualize and show? With that, we have a lot of blank space, and so we have some ability to move around where the legend is, that is a big start. So I just click on the legend, right click then say format legend. I can change the position of it. So you can do the top, which gives more map room or the bottom, which I like it a bit more because then the titles up here and we have the legend at the bottom. But to also help this, you might want to actually put the percentages on. So if I just right click on the map, add data labels, we can see now the percentage for each state other than some of the smaller ones up here, which is fine. We have some of those issues just with the smaller states. Don't get too caught up in it. I get it, I understand it. What you do need to do though is add in a title to it all. So this could be state level unemployment or it's percentage, percent unemployed for 2021. And I'm putting that in five-year estimates after it just so you give a nod to the data set we're using. So again, super simple title to it. We have the legend at the bottom. You can go in if you wanted to change the color of it. You have the color options here. If you have to do a monotone or grayscale just based on your mapping itself, not everyone has color printers. If it's going to say a journal, whatever it may be, you have limited options and you can change that image of it to highlight the worse off states than others. So you can see where those fall into place. With that, it's a quick way to do the state one. Now say I wanted to do the same measure here, so percent unemployed, but I wanted to do counties specifically within Arkansas itself. You can do that from the same Social Explorer. It's going to minimize this, come back into Social Explorer. If we click on, if you have it open, you can hit geographies, say you, because that would take you back to the level you're at. If you exit it all the way out and you have to come back in, remember we're in Social Explorer, Tables, ACS 2021 for the five-year estimates. Begin the report, and all you're going to do at this point is change it to a county level. And from here, let's just do counties within Arkansas to say consistent. And make sure you select here all counties in Arkansas rather than all counties. All counties is going to give you about 3,200 versus all counties in Arkansas, which is 75 hit add here. So now we have a subset selection. So essentially a filter that's only going to provide us data for counties located within Arkansas. Hit proceed. Let's go down to unemployment as well. Where was that out here? So I'm going to do the same measure, just add a different unit of analysis to pick up variation. Because if you think about it, how we see the map here for Arkansas, 
there's actually 75 counties within Arkansas, so we'll have different levels of variation in unemployment rates or percent unemployed based on different population, what's going on in different areas of the state itself. Within states, you have different, or within counties, you have other spatial units of analysis as well. So we have unemployment, I'm going to hit add, and then show results. Same as before, you now have total population that's employable, 16 and over, employed, unemployed, along with the percentage. For each individual Arkansas County, having a total of 75 counties within the great state of Arkansas. Come over to our data download. Still going to do our column labels, and we're also going to do the output percentage. Save this as a CSV again. This one's just going to be ACS County AR Unemployment. Hit save. Hopefully it opens a bit quicker since I already have Excel open, but we shall see if it gives me any more issues. Ah, not as bad. So again, you have to clean up your data set. Same problems or same kind of cleaning steps that we had. We're gonna go ahead and delete row two. These are the actual variable names to where if you wanted to look it up in the code book, these are the ones how it would be named. But for our purposes, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete a lot of this information in here. Similar, before I do, when I said each state has a code, so Arkansas, the state FIPS here, Every state is, or every county has a five next to it because it's all located within the state of Arkansas. And then each county has a three digit number attached to it. So Arkansas County located in Arkansas should be 05001. So that 001 is that unique identifier to specify Arkansas County located within the state of Arkansas. With that though, we can delete some of this for our purposes today. So I'm gonna highlight a bunch of these columns, right click, delete and then here's our geographic identifier that really links that 05001 together and we can go down and each county within the state has a unique identifier for it again can delete some of these they're repetitive so i'm going to keep the area name and just relabel it then i'm going to delete a couple of these other ones in here so i'm going to map it without the state itself. I'm going to show you because this happened in, for a few students in class. I want to see if I get the same issue. What I would recommend and get in the habit of is add a column. So insert state and they're all just going to be Arkansas. So you're pointing Excel to know that we're all in Arkansas, each county here. But I want to see if you were to just select the county and then our unemployed at the end here you might have some issues when you map it because other states will have the similarly named counties itself. So if I were to come up to insert map, filled map, you can see we already have some issues. I'm just going to move it so it's a bit larger. County one, you can see this is the issue. And some of the students had this happen to theirs is a couple of the counties that are supposed to be in Arkansas. One comes back to Missouri and one comes to Illinois. So that's where Excel doesn't know what state some of these counties are located in. So it's trying to do its best guess. With that, we have repetition across or duplication across states with same county names. With that, I'm going to delete this map or this chart. And now I'm going to highlight county and state and then our unemployment percentage over here. Do the same part of insert, come into our map, field map. And now we see since we highlighted that state part to it, it now knows that all these counties are located in the state of Arkansas. Going to again, move this to a new sheet, county map. And you can see we have a, quite a bit of variation within the state of Arkansas for the percent unemployed. So with that, again, I'm gonna change the layout where the legend is just to give it a bit more spacing. If it doesn't pop up where you have the legend options, right click on it, format legend. Now you have these options over here. I'm just going to do the bottom again to make them map the focal point of this chart, the actual map itself. I'm going to add in the data labels so I know the percentage of each one. And this is the Mississippi Delta region, which is known for high unemployment. Uh, it has been for a very long time. And you can see where the university is up here in Washington County, 4.72, Benton County, 2.98. So some of the lower ones up here, kind of our Northwest Arkansas, and then our 
southeast area, which is the Mississippi Delta area, which a lot of people are, know the great, great variation within the state of Arkansas. But this drives home the point of the variation. So within the United States, if we look statewide, you see Arkansas is about 5.33. But then if we look within the state of Arkansas, we have counties that go down to 1.97 up to just over 15% here. So even within the state itself, we have quite a bit of variation that is much larger distribution, much more of a, um, oh, truly it's just the distribution itself of unemployment across the state. And you miss some of that variation when you aggregate up or you sum up all that up to the state level. It's averaging out all of these for the most part and you're missing out on that variability within the state. With that, Two easy ways, of course, have to make a title for this one as well, uh, but two ways to map data in Excel. Let's see if I can just give these a bit more room. There we go. At the state level, and then also at the county level, I'll make a follow-up video using the census um, data itself to go through their data portal to grab the same data just because that's free use and you don't have to have Social Explorer. Uh, or maybe not everyone has access to it. With that, if there's questions, feel free to reach out. Until next time.